Delhi's much hyped cloud seeding experiment worth 3 crore was supposed to bring artificial rain and wash away city's toxic smog. But after two trials, Delhi saw no rain. So what went wrong? Was it bad timing, bad weather or flawed execution? Let's understand in detail. Delhi was here to pollution sat jina seek rain. The Delhi government finally went ahead with its long-planned cloud seeding project this week. Two trials were conducted on 28th October, one around 1.30 p.m. and another between 3.30 to 4.15 p.m. targeting areas like Burari, Mayur Vihar and Karol Bag. A Cessna aircraft from IIT Kanpur sprayed a mix of silver iodide and sodium chloride compounds meant to trigger rainfall by encouraging condensation inside clouds. Each trial costs around 64 lakhs, part of 3.21 crore a project approved earlier this year to test whether artificial rain could help reduce pollution in the capital. But hours passed and nothing happened. Delhi saw no rain. Air quality stayed in the very poor range, leaving residents disappointed. According to IIT Kanpur director Manindra Agarwal, uh, the problem wasn't the technology, it was the weather. He said clouds that day had very low moisture, only around 15 to 20 percent. For successful cloud seeding, humidity needs to be above 50 percent. IIT Kanpur team uh, conducted a cloud seeding experiment yesterday in Delhi. This was done in the afternoon when a Cessna aircraft flew from our airstrip, went to Delhi, did a seeding in Bidhuni area and then returned by evening to our campus. This was a trial run when uh, flares were fired under the clouds. To put it in simple words, there wasn't enough water in the air to make rain no matter how much chemical was released. Experts at IIT Delhi agreed, pointing out that Delhi's winter air is usually too dry for such experiments. Artificial rain work best when western disturbances bring moisture-rich clouds not on dry, still days like this one. Cloud seeding is in new countries like UAE, China and the US have all used it, but even they admit that it's not guaranteed. It depends heavily on cloud size, wind speed and existing humidity. So one or two trials in Delhi were never likely to give instant results. Even if cloud seeding had worked, experts say it's not a long-term fix for Delhi's pollution. IIT Kanpur's director himself called cloud seeding SOS solution. Something you only use when in extreme conditions and not as regular pollution control. So in that sense, it was a successful trial. Uh, unfortunately, the cloud cover yesterday was not too very good. The moisture content was also very low. So we did not expect any rains to uh, come due to this and it did not. Uh, but having established this uh, methodology and uh, all the systems working, we now are confident that uh, when the next cloud cover is available in Delhi, our team will be able to take off and do the cloud seeding, hopefully leading to rains as well. Interestingly, the Delhi government is still calling the trials a partial success. Officials claim the AQI, PM 2.5 and PM 10 levels dipped slightly after the operation. They say this shows a potential of the method and that more trials are planned, around 9 or 10 more depending on the weather conditions. So Delhi's first artificial rain attempt may not have worked, but it has given scientists data to fine-tune future efforts. Still, experts warn there's no shortcut to clean air. Rain, real or artificial, can only buy time. The real fix begins on ground. This brings us to the end of the report. We'll continue following the story. Stay tuned to Money Control for more such updates. Thank you for watching. fighting so long and so hard that they don't know what the f they're doing.